Wacker Noisen Technical Academy presents Setting Up an Oil Burner When servicing your machine, always adhere to the warnings and cautions listed in the operator's manual. To begin, turn on the combustion analyzer. Locate the exhaust stack, sometimes on the side or top of a machine. Install the analyzer probe into the exhaust stack to take the exhaust gas samples. Locate the burner fuel pump and remove the bleeder port and install a 0 to 250 psi fuel gauge. Start the burner. To reduce the fuel pressure, turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise to the desired set point. To increase, turn clockwise. Never set the fuel pressure higher than the specifications listed in the operator's manual. Locate the air band, air shutter, and graduated numbers printed on the burner housing. Loosen the air band and air shutter screws by using a 5 16 nut driver. Adjust the band in the shutter to the desired set point. When the burner starts, the oxygen level drops from 21% or atmospheric level to an unknown number. This number is the percentage of extra oxygen in the exhaust gas. This is the oxygen that has not been consumed in the combustion process. Wait for your O2 levels to stabilize before making any adjustments. By closing the air band, we're reducing the amount of oxygen input into the combustion chamber, thereby reducing the oxygen content of the exhaust gas. By opening the air band, we increase the oxygen input into our combustion chamber. Always set the oxygen levels to the specification listed in the operator's manual. For more service videos and tips from the pros, click the link below or visit www.wackernoisentech.com.